Brooks & Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at or call 713-665-8329. Hello, this is Dr. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. I urge you to follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in commercial or residential real estate anywhere in the great state of Texas, but especially here in the lovely city of Houston, please visit our website at brooksanddavis.com. And for the latest and greatest in men's and women's hats, fedoras, straws, and designer sunglasses, please visit our sponsor at shopelitestyle.com. It's a great Thursday. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. As always, my co-host is not only a Texas real estate broker, a multiple-time author, a serial entrepreneur, but he is also known the world over as the Texas <laughs> real estate king. So uh, as always, I'd like to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience, my co-host, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. Appreciate that warm welcome, Mr. Rick. Man, uh, it's been good, man. I've had a good week. You know, we have had we haven't had very much rain this week. They said we're going to be at 100 degrees here in Texas until the middle of next week. Then we're going to bounce back to the middle of the 90s. Some of y'all may not like that, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoy the heat, man. I, I can I can dry off from time to time, but, you know, I enjoy the heat. Um, I just came from an event over at uh, Meritage Homes. They're having a, a grand opening in Pearland. And so that was a that was a big event that they had early. So I stopped by there to get that thing going, man. I mean, there's always great properties in Pearland, and Pearland is a lovely community. So yes, sir. I'm yes, sure sir. they'll do very well over there. Yeah. Hey, I'm giving them a shout out with this cup, man. We need some sponsorship, Meritage. <laughs> we need some sponsorship. <laughs> hey, hey, man. At least it ain't your Raiders Cup from two weeks ago. I'm not. Bro, hey, man. man. Disregard what that gentleman just <laughs> said. I am a diehard Texans fan. I hey, bleed man, red glad. and blue. Absolutely, man. <laughs> but. Um, in all seriousness, man, it's a great week. Yeah, yeah. For not only Mr. Brooks as an individual, yeah, it's also been an outstanding week for Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. Man, things are going, man. And an outstanding week for the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. And the reason why it's been such a great week all the way around is because mm -hmm. you've been nominated for a highly prestigious award. No doubt, man. I know you're not one to toot your own horn, but please, you man, know, just bless the audience with a little bit of game. Can you show me a little bounce pass alley hoop. <laughs> <laughs> take it over yeah, right? brother. so just talk so, about man the award you nominated so, for man. so it's been amazing man I, I was nominated for it's called the ceo award and so what it's given to is entrepreneur that uh, they're doing great ceos and entrepreneurs that are doing great business in the community and so um, i'm being honored for this uh, you guys may see the flyer that's up i want you to go and vote for me because i need your assistance this is not a one-man act this is a this is a team act so i need you guys as assistant um go to the go to www.urbanceonetwork.com uh, uh, backslash and vote just uh you'll see it'll be he see they, they have the lame the names listed so you'll find my name go down there and vote for me i really 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 appreciate <laughs> it you know because a victory and winning you'll find that anytime that i've ever won an award you know it goes back to the old sports guy in me the old football guy in me it's a, a team thing so the, the the it allows me to to more it allows me to be able to seek more assistance from other communities to help out the communities that really need to win these type of awards are won no, man, I'm really proud of you because I know um, how much time, energy, and effort you put into public outreach. Thank you, sir. Networking, marketing, and also servicing. Thank you, sir. Not only your clients, but also your business partners as well. So, no doubt. Um, you don't always get your real professional guy prize in the mail like you would <laughs> all expect. So, no doubt. when you have those rare opportunities to be able to spotlight your achievements mm -hmm. and your hard work, I always feel like... Um, it's always in our best interest to champion I appreciate those efforts, it, man. man. So I just want you to know we're proud that you're here at the pod, brother. So I stay on the grind, no doubt. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. You. Um, today's episode, and I want to make sure I urge everyone who's watching today's episode, tag, share, um, call. Let everyone know who's an aspiring homeowner, 
an aspiring real estate investor to know about today's episode. Today's episode is entitled Before Your First Time. And what we're going to do, and today we have really great, knowledgeable, not only real estate professionals, but also mortgage professionals to talk to everyone about the preparations that you need to take before you qualify or pre-qualify for your first home loan. So I would like to introduce our guest now to the Prime Real Estate Network audience. Our first guest is a realtor with United Real Estate. She does outstanding work in the community. She services her clients and goes to no end to make sure that she ensures customer delight. So I would like to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience our first guest, Ms. Renee West. Hi there. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Hey. 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 Happy to be here with you guys. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for carving some time out your busy schedule and sitting in with us today. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, our second guest is a former mortgage underwriter. He currently serves as a loan originator here in the great city of Houston. And I would also like to introduce our second guest to our audience, Mr. Jared Boswell. How's it going? Happy to be here. Oh, man, I want to thank you as well, sir. I know um, as real estate professionals, you and Ms. West, we both all have super busy schedules. And being able to get here on a Thursday, midday, right. probably was an uh, undertaking. So <laughs> I want to no thank doubt. you publicly for um, rearranging whatever you needed to make happen to be able to sit in with us today because it's definitely an honor mm -hmm. and a pleasure to have you both here with us today. Yeah. Appreciate it. Now, um, I want to get down to it because today's episode, I want to be able to give both of you all ample opportunity to illustrate for the public what they need to do as an aspiring real estate investor, homeowner, to get themselves prepared that when they're ready to take that plunge and move forward, all their ducks can be in a row. So I want to start with you first, Ms. West. Um, could you speak to our audience a little bit about your real estate practice, the foundation of your practice, and what it is you provide for your clients and services? So I work for United Real Estate, and so as a, as a realtor for them, I pride myself on working specifically with first-time home buyers from that standpoint. And, and I, I want to emphasize for them the educational aspect of it, right? Absolutely. Because, you know, we want to ensure that they not only get into their homes, but they're able to stay in their homes. Absolutely. And so a lot of the conversation around whether or not it's uh, the right time stands from, you know, understanding or getting a good um, introductory lesson on how they handle their finances first and foremost, right. right? So I need to understand from them, like, how do you pay your bills? What is <laughs> what is appropriate to you on right. how you spend your money before I understand whether or not you're ready for this next step to take on th this big piece of the puzzle? You know, the cool thing about being in real estate now, especially with um, how popular real estate television shows are, um, real estate reality shows, is that real estate conversation now can be a casual conversation. Right. right? It doesn't have to really be a real super stuffy business conversation. So my question for you, Ms. Renee, is when friend, coworker, family member just brings up, oh, Renee, I think we're going to be ready to buy a home in the next year or two. What is a small piece of advice that you give them to start preparing themselves to move forward in that direction? What's your credit look like? <laughs> <laughs> that's the opening conversation, that's right? That's the opening. Uh, that's like, good job. That's, good job. <laughs> that's the opening. Do you know what your credit score is? Like, right. Let's just start there. Do you know what your credit score is? And said, okay, yeah, that's that's great. You know, I'm happy that you're thinking about that. But let's get to the basics, and it's those two questions. Do you know what your credit score is? And if you do, what does it look like? And based on the results of that response, then we kind of put a game plan together. Yeah, that's I love that scenario, man. I want Jared. How would you answer that same scenario? <laughs> now this is the money man. Right. The conversation yeah. is totally different. It's kinda, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You are so right. <laughs> Actually, the answer is exactly the same. <laughs> Credit. Credit, because if I could, if I had to list the number one reason why people can't buy at this time, it would be credit. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are, you know, heavy into credit karma which is, you know, a good service to kind of let you know, but it's not your, it doesn't give you your real score. Correct. Mm. So before you buy, I would definitely, you, you may have to pay for it because credit karma is free, but you may have to pay for it and see what your actual credit score is mm -hmm. and see what the, and definitely talk to a loan professional and see what the minimum scores are, you know, what 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 you need to do to get your score up because anything, anything bad you did on your credit can be changed. Mm -hmm. right. You can overcome that. 
So definitely credit is the number one. <laughs> you know, it's really funny because um, I meet people, prospective clients, mm -hmm. we like yeah. to call them. And they always say, well, you know, Rick, I'm really not trying to move for like eight months. So we may have time to delay. And I always try to speak to those same people when I'm discussing time frames is that eight months in the world of real estate might as well be a half hour. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So Whoa, that's a fact. And I want to <laughs> ask you both and I'll start with you, Miss West. What how do you illustrate for your clients the importance of not delaying, not procrastinating? how the things that you want to do tomorrow you should have did yesterday. Yeah. How do you illustrate that for the people you're working with? So you, you make it tangible. You actually put it in front of them. If you can get the credit report in their hands, then we'll start with that. So like you mentioned, you may use Credit Karma. If you don't necessarily have any other avenue, we'll start with that. And we'll just look on here. And by having a little bit of knowledge on what the lender is going to look for, we'd be able to track down, okay, this you're going to need to pay off. This you're going to need to pay down. And so giving them a time frame associated with how long it's going to take them to be able to do that, that lines up then with their ability to be ready. Um, so, so oftentimes it's really just putting pen to the paper and say, if you're making this and you want to do this, how much do you have to save and what are you willing to um, spend in order to take care of some of these things? That kind of just generates that timeline. And so we just write it out so it's visual for them. Oh, now that's outstanding. And I want to ask you too, Mr. Boswell, from mm -hmm. a lender's perspective, how do you build a sense of urgency and how do you keep your clients focused on the end goal as opposed to being distracted by going house hunting Absolutely. before they're um, close to being loan qualified? Yeah, because she, she does the fun part of it, I always <laughs> say, because everybody's excited to go house hunting. Yeah. Right. But I do the kind of not so fun. I <laughs> give you sometimes bad news or hard news. So right. I kind of let them know early on that this is the biggest transaction that most people will ever make. Unless you buy a corporation, right. Right. Mm -hmm. buying real estate is one of the biggest transactions. So you... You're going to have to be focused. I kind of outline everything. I have documents that I get them, like I go over with them, have them signed so they have a full understanding of the whole process. And then I follow up. Mm -hmm. I just simply, like I set deadlines with them, but I also set deadlines with myself. Like yeah. every week, hey, did you do this? Did you pay off this account? Did you look into this? And that kind of keeps them on pace so that they won't get lost in the process because it is can be uh, not long, but it, it can be a long process. Yeah. So, and, you know, people need accountability, too. Right. And so oh, what man. a lot of people don't understand is when you're in that mortgage sector, because um, I was a mortgage broker for a little while before huh? deciding that <laughs> real estate was a fun really? side. <laughs> 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 so when Jared said it, I was really like, yeah, you're right, man. I, I've lived on both fences in real estate. Our side is most different. I want to go look at houses with you. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Right. Let's just look at houses. But, um, uh, but yeah, but accountability is what people really need. So having that, that touching basis with them often, hey, did you do this? They need that, Jared. Right. No doubt about it. Yeah, I always try to make sure that my buyers – allow me to have a close relationship with my lenders. Let, let me in on every aspect of it so that, as you say, from the accountability standpoint, you're going to touch up and now I'm going to touch up, oh, right? Yeah. As well oh, yeah. too, so that he gets it both ways, he or she gets it both ways. Yep. And I mean, you know, um, it's super, it's really interesting that even though on the outside, the real estate side and the lending side seems like they're on opposite sides of the fence, the discussions that you have with prospects, um, prospective clients, mm -hmm. seem to mirror. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's funny because when we um, have opportunity to share thoughts and be all in the same room and in the same space, you come to realize that, okay, these questions that I'm getting aren't that unusual. Because, <laughs> right. you know, sometimes clients will... They'll ask you something and you'll be like, am I the only person in the world <laughs> that's answering this question right now? So um, it's always great to be around like minded professionals so that we all have somebody to lean on when we think that like, oh, my God, this is the worst day in the history of anyone's professional life. You can have someone say, nah, Tuesday was kind of bad for me, too. So right. but I want to um, ask this question, and this is for both of you all. We all discuss credit. Can you, Mr. Boswell, um, share with our audience a little bit about credit restoration and in your experience, how someone may be able to discern a credible and reputable credit restoration service? Right. Well, well, in my experience, um, I actually know uh, well, uh, someone personally, so I knew they were reputable, mm -hmm. but I, I, I use a variety of companies. 
basically you have to ask probing probing questions. Yes. Like, what are you going to do? How are you going to restore my credit? So you have a good understanding. Because some things that the credit restoration companies do, as a lender, they're going to make you undo in order to see your real credit profile. Right. So you don't want to get into a situation where you think you're ready, you're ready to move out of your apartment, and you, and then the lender comes back and say, well, no, you have to go undo this so we can take a look at your real profile. So that's the best thing to do is ask probing questions. Um, of course, I know everybody Googles and reads reviews. That could help. Um, if you know somebody who has used a credit restoration service and they were able to purchase, that that's a good resource to use as well. But I definitely ask probing questions. Yeah. And, you know, I always like to um, advise my clients, regardless of what credit karma says your credit right. score is, let's sit down and consult with a loan professional. Right. Because loan professionals are going to always refer you to the reputable credit restoration company. Absolutely. Right. Problem is, and um, you let me know, Miss West, if you agree, unfortunately, buyers find the credit restoration services on their own without consultation and then come to you yep. after the negative experience. That's right. Nailed it. So right. is, that, is that something that you run into? Oh, absolutely, all the time. And then it's kind of like, okay, well, so I know that you thought you were making progress, but you've actually reverted back a little bit, and now we've got to start over, right? It, and so that gets to where you have a little bit of frustration. Or the flip side is that um, because they are – not wanting to spend more than they need to spend and then trying to convince them to do the credit restoration is right. the other issue then that they don't necessarily see the value in spending the dollars up front right. I think it's something that they can do on their own and and are not disciplined enough to see it through to the end so then you're back in this cycle <laughs> no and I'm just glad because um it it helps me that other professionals like yourself are reinforcing the messages that I've been spreading yeah, for years course, so that helps right. one um but I also want to get into with both of you all a little bit about your um, professional journeys, how you've evolved to where you are now. Um, a lot of times when Larry and I meet prospective clients, the thing that they always discuss is that they want to know more about the people they're working with. Because just mm -hmm. like you said, Mr. Boswell, this is the largest um, transaction that they probably have ever undertaken to this point, and they want to know more outside of how you look on a business card and what your email address is. Right. So when we come back from our break, I'm hoping that both of you all wouldn't mind sharing with the audience a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey and anyone who has served as a mentor, as an inspiration mm -hmm. along that journey, if you don't mind. Absolutely. So um, thank you so much. Everyone, I urge you all to stay tuned to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. We're going to take a short break to hear from our sponsors. We'll be right back. This is Rick Davis, realtor and host of the Prime Real Estate Network. Are you currently leasing or looking to relocate to the Houston area and you find yourself falling in love with the home but aren't quite in a position to purchase? Well, no worries. We offer the Right to Purchase program. We can place you in the home of your dreams at current market rental rates and give you up to three years to buy. Did you know that a majority of the homes that are for sale offer better quality than those that are for rent? So why wait? Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Let me and my team help you purchase a home that you and your family can fall in love with. Give me a call today at 832-928-3963. And remember to follow the Prime Real Estate Network podcast on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Be blessed. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I urge you to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. For all your needs as far as buying, selling, or investing anywhere in the great state of Texas, please stop by our website at brooksanddavis.com. And if you like cool straw hats like the one I'm wearing, you can definitely get that male and female, ladies and gentlemen, at shoppingleastyle.com. As always, my co host, Texas real estate king, live and in the flesh. Yeah, Mr. I'm Larry building, W. Baby. Brooks. I'm in the building. And our two fine guests today. First, a realtor with United Real Estate, Ms. Renee West. Mm. And our in-house professional loan originator <laughs> and mortgage go. guru, 
<laughs> Mr. Jerry Boswell, I want to thank you both for sitting in with us today. You thank know what? You, so you people, make sure that y'all go and check out the YouTube channel too, man, because y'all need to see what some of our guests have on. Because they rock. <laughs> no, they staying mad fly. Miss looking good over there <laughs> today. Fly. My man Jerry got a jacket on. I, I'm not gonna let him out of here with it. That's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> and right. see, this is why I appreciate you saying that, Larry, because sometimes. Um, I forget that there are a lot of um, people in our audience who listen to the podcast on um, Google Play yeah. or on iTunes who may not necessarily always have the opportunity to see from a visual perspective. Yeah. So I want to definitely give our guests kudos today because oh. they definitely look extra yeah. fresh in the 4K. Yes, indeed. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So if you ever catch them looking up, it's because they're looking at the monitor <laughs> studio to yeah. check out how fresh they are. So. And, it, and if you ever catch me with this this, uh, this sports coat on next to me, don't know where it came from. Right. <laughs> right. Don't, don't hey, remember man. where it came from. Bro. But I want to get back with you, man, because um, I appreciate both of you all for sitting in. And um, before our break, I talked a little bit about wanting to get into each one of your personal entrepreneurial and business person journey. So I want to start with you, Miss West. Is there anyone that you can remember back from when you were younger that a member of the family, close family friend that may have been an entrepreneur or a business owner that may have inspired you or served as a mentor to get you in your entrepreneurial space and give you that little push you needed to step out there on faith? A little bit. So my dad is a retired executive chef. And so oh. um, so growing up, it was one of those things where we kind of just got to see the lay of the land and our palate was just exquisite because anything we wanted, he would prepare, right? right. So That's outside of... Um, working as a chef for his establishment, then he also had his own catering business. And so just kind of seeing that evolve throughout the years was kind of where some of that entrepreneur spirit came from. No doubt about it. Um, mm -hmm. Being a former athlete as well, uh, went to Sam Houston State and played volleyball full ride. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Ah, don't, don't start. Girl. Don't start. But you know don't start. I, I'm just don't saying. Don't start. Like <laughs> boo, man. We, we will maintain our to, professionalism. I'm going to have to just wrap just trying. one thing on purpose, though, because I needed to put but that out there, especially for y'all. I got no, distracted no, real quick with that one. We would be remiss <laughs> if we didn't take this opportunity to say Mr. Brooks and I are proud. Stephen F. Foster State University <gasps> Lumberjacks. Uh, no doubt about it. So okay. we got mad love for Miss Renee West, even though <laughs> yes, she do. is a lady bear cat. Continue, madam. <laughs> Eat them up, cats. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. But on my journey to, to getting to college, you know, I played club and, and, um, and, and, the expenses that come along with that were kind of, you know, excessive. And so having an opportunity to be able to do something similar on the back end once I graduated was great. So then I started like my own volleyball club kind of doing private lessons and right. mm. for the for those who could not afford to actually uh, play club but that way they could still get that kind of training that from that Absolutely. standpoint so I started there and that was all before real estate but so entrepreneurial has spirit has always been in flux but um, it came to the forefront in real estate just by happenstance so I actually got into real estate on a fluke I uh, <laughs> started out as an investor when I was 25 and okay great decision was kind of just you know investing in properties but on my own paper like making my own contracts and right. stuff and kind of got into a situation where I was in over my head and <laughs> just to, I got out of it successfully. It cost me a lot, but I got out of it successfully and then made the decision that I'm gonna go to school. I don't ever want that to happen again. So I went to real estate school and then after I finished, it was like, well, you already did it. You might as well mm. just take the test and find it. And then I just, you know, embarked right. on a different range of people that I could help from that standpoint. No, it's it's yeah. funny because like I said, it never fails, Larry. Mm -hmm. Every time we ask the business people on our show that same question, there is always someone that you can think about that inspired you. And mm -hmm. I want to give your father um, kudos publicly because a lot of times, especially as men, we don't understand how powerful our presence is mm -hmm. and how powerful our example is. Absolutely. So um, it's great that he can inspire his daughter to the heights that she has there reached. So I want to give him does. his. Oh, definitely. He I want to give him his props publicly. And I want to <laughs> ask you the same question, Mr. Boswell. From the um, lender space, mm -hmm. who would you credit as a mentor or inspiration? Um, well, first, since everybody's shouting out their school, I want to shout out the Southern University uh -huh. in Baton Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better. Um, you lose your New Orleans privilege. Now, we all see with the blue jacket on. Don't yeah. think Southern. Just think, you know, he ended up with a blue jacket right. on. Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah. But um, I would probably say... Um, just not anyone in particular, but growing up, I went to church a lot. There was a lot of people in the community that own businesses. And then that coupled with working a nine to five, I kind of always wanted to say, I mean, I always said, you know, I can make my own income. I don't have to do what someone tells me to do, you mm -hmm. know, 
come to work this time, go to lunch at this time. So it was that coupled with that. But in the mortgage industry, one of my mentors was uh, my former uh, boss when I was an underwriter. She kind of taught me the ropes. She's really hard, really aggressive <laughs> with me. So Absolutely. that's kind of why I know a lot because of her. That's, so. awesome. that's good. That's good. You have a you have a favorite book that you're reading right now? Jay? Um. Or one that, if not now, one that, that, that you would say kind of played a good role in just the entrepreneur spirit? Um, it's actually in my backpack right now. I cannot <laughs> think of the name of it, though. That's okay. But, yeah. um, I, I can pull it out uh, for you in just a second. But um, it's basically speaking about you can do anything that your mind yeah. can think of. Yeah. Um, and if you change the way you think, then your actions will automatically change. Mm. I can agree with that. So yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Renee? I'm, I'm curious too. You got a favorite book? I don't have a favorite book. Um, I just finished Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens, yeah. but I'm reading um, Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek yeah. right now. Oh, I've wow. heard about that's, that that's one. Yeah. That's on my, my to do list before yeah. the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's just, you know, just kind of getting into the idea of subservient leader, leadership and then how just by leading from that perspective, you can get more done and okay, have right. folks follow you. So, um, so that's kind of what's on my reading list right so now. Cool. And yeah. I'm sorry, the name of the book was Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, sure yeah, everybody's yeah. reading Right. Yeah. No. When you said that quote, I think everybody was yeah. like, yeah, that's that. Everybody pointing at the monitor. Yeah, that's Think and Grow that's Rich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, because I want to thank both of you all. So I want to make sure, and starting with you, Miss West, please, with our audience, um, give them any contact information, how they can get in contact with you after the show. Okay. Right now? Please. Okay. Hi. You can reach me on all social media at Raw Success Homes. Um, that's exactly how it's spelled. That's exactly how it's worded. Um, and that's about it. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, I urge everyone, please follow Miss West online at Raw Success Homes because um, she's going to share information tidbits and you may get a little glimpse into what she's doing on the weekends <laughs> and where she likes to eat because... <laughs> Look, you'll be surprised. I get a lot of my clients that'll be like, oh, Rick, I saw on IG you went so-and-so this weekend. So I urge everybody to follow her online. Mr. Boswell, um, do you have anything upcoming as far as community outreach where people may be able to interact with you personally? Yes, I do have an event coming up on October the 10th. We're still waiting on a venue. Um, so if you follow me on all social media outlets, you know, I'll, I'll post the event date and time uh, once we lock down the venue. But yeah. definitely. Um, my uh, Instagram is that mortgage dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, Facebook, just my name, Jared Boswell. You can find me. Um, and if you have any questions, inbox me there. Definitely look this gentleman up, man. If you're looking to pre qualify, post qualify, re qualify, <laughs> reach out to Mr. Boswell. No now, doubt. Mr. Brooks, man, where are we having this vote election rally? I know, uh -oh. right? Right. Well, let's go. What you got go going vote, on this week, guys. brother? What so, we got going on? You know what, man? I've been laying low, so I'm going to be in the city. You know, um, I was going to think about going down to New Orleans for the Texans game, but I'm, I'm going to hang tight into the city. Just celebrate here as we go down, go, as we go down there and do what we do down there. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the most part, guys, go out and vote for me again is urban ceo network uh dot com backslash vote um just look for larry w brooks or look for larry brooks and click on that name and give me that vote if you want to screen send me a screenshot here's my cell number 281-924-4954 i'll repost it i'll give you a shout out i just want i want you to know that i appreciate you taking the time to do it it only takes about 20 seconds so i know a lot of times when we think of voting we think this is a long process it literally takes about 20 yeah. seconds you'll click and click and be done no doubt about it if you are a um, aspiring homeowner, if you're going to be making your first purchase, I want to make sure I alert everyone in the audience to know that at Brooks and Davis Real Estate, we do host home buyer seminars every Thursday and Saturday. So if you're interested in getting information about your first time purchase, if you would like to meet with me specifically to go about discussing your buying or selling options or even your investment options, reach out to us, go to the Brooks and Davis website, or you can always inbox me directly on Facebook, DM me on IG, and I'm always available for everyone. On I would like to thank you for tuning in this week on behalf of myself, the Texas real estate king, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, and our fine guest this week. Thank you for tuning into the Prime Real Estate Network. Everyone be blessed, and we'll see you all next Thursday. Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, is marketing a property for sale right now that you can buy. These properties range from land lots for under $20,000 to move-in ready homes, $500,000 and more, along with everything in between. 
To see this week's list of properties for sale you can buy now, go to bit.ly backslash BDREF weekly list. That's B-I-T dot L-Y backslash BDREF weekly list. If you plan on selling some real estate and you need it on the weekly list, call 713-665-8329 to speak with someone about it.